All right. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm down here. Okay. Since my head bolt bridge kit was kind of a bust, I had to return it because it was defective. And uh, the way Harley Davidson has it worked out is if you buy it online on their website, you can't just request, uh, you know, parts or just send a replacement. You have to go to the Harley Davidson dealership and have them determine that it's defective. And then, uh, I mean, I, and I did all that, right? And I put a little video up. So I figured while, while I'm doing something, I'll, I'll do something productive and I'll uh, replace my air cleaner. I'll put my new air cleaner on. So the very first step I have is a uh, 13 16 and I'm gonna be pulling the cover off. And I'm using my, my brand new Tekton uh, wrench, a socket, ratchet, and my extender. And this is Pittsburgh. This is the, uh, I got this from Harbor Freight. My Pittsburgh 3 8 and a half inch drive, nine piece hex bit socket. So I got all my goodies out. So let's get to working. And uh, we'll see if we can get this accomplished. What I'll do is after every step, I'll just pause it and uh, move on, move on to the next step. Figure well, get something done. It's a nice day, it's Saturday. It's supposed to rain. We did have some rain this morning, I think. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I just wanted a bigger. I wanted. I wanted to uh, take a bigger breath. You know what I mean? I wanted to breathe a little bit better. Okay, let me pause you, and I'll uh, be right back. I gotta get the right size for that, and then we'll uh, we'll march on. So sit tight. Okay, for this next bracket, it's a uh, T27. Yeah, T27. So, and there's three of them. Oh, and these were, weren't even super tight. Oh yeah, they were just kind of snug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even hardly tight at all, so that's good. I like that Tecton ratchet. That's why I got it, you know, for the 12 point, for the bolts and whatnot. So. All right, let's pause you, I'll come back. Well, oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I'll pause you and we'll come back. Hold on. Okay, I got those three bolts out. Get this uh, air cleaner off. Like so. And there's the gasket. So, um, it's all one unit, it looks like. Except for the gasket. Tiny gasket compared to uh, I don't know if you can see. You might be able to. There's the get. There's the uh, air filter assembly. Now there's only two brackets, whole or uh, two bolt. Oh, okay. That's 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 a regular socket. So uh, yeah, let me figure that out, and I'll be back in a minute. All right. So <laughs> hold on. Okay. <laughs> 9 sixteenths is the next size for this big bracket. I'm using my 12 point because I just like the feeling of that, you know, that security. All right, so we got that going. Hold on. Okay, got the bolts off. It looks like it's, that might be NACs. I don't think it's uh, Loctite because it came off pretty easy. I think they were made, and there's, there's a little gasket too. And I was feeling that gasket as I was trying to find the right bolt, the right bolt for it, or the right socket for it, so. All right, so two of those bolts came out. Now we're gonna pull this assembly off like so. 
Oh, look at this. Yeah, huh? Look at that. All right. There's a little port down here I didn't notice. Um, so it's like an added, added little airflow. So we'll put that over there. Now we have this bracket to remove. And there's another gasket here. So um, I'm going to pull this bracket off next. And uh, there's my throttle connection. Right. Yep. It's got a little bit of play to it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pull this bracket off. I'm going to leave this gasket on for now until I see. Uh, this is absolutely nothing wrong with this gasket. It's a little compressed, of course, but I'm going to leave that on. I'm not going to take it off just yet. So I'm going to remove this bracket next. And... Uh, Let's see if it's the same. Is it the same 332? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's a 332. All right, so hold on. Let's get that worked out. That's on there pretty good. That might be the one where you require the black type. You want to watch what you're doing here. Sounds pretty good. Okay, there we go. Now see that? That might be some Loctite too, because you know when I went to the dealer to return my, my head bolt kit, and I asked the guy, the parts guy, I said, is that uh, is that a Loctite or is that like an anti seize? And he said, no, that's Loctite. So this might be Loctite too. So all right, so we got that off. All right, we got everything off that I think we need to get off. Let me pause you and uh, scope it out, and I'll, oops, and we'll get back to you. Hold on. All right, take you with me on this one. Here's the, here's the big, here's one of the brackets, and this one looks like I am going to take the gasket off because it, it comes with one gasket, and that one gasket I'm looking at the uh, at the schematic. The diagram that's the gasket right there and that gasket wants to go right up against here right so then we have that gasket goes here then this made this big bracket which is carburetor throttle mount bracket goes over that okay oh I see where the air breathers go the air breathers go here ah I might I might get my um, compressor hooked up and squirt these out because I can see just a little bit of uh, anti seize in there, so I might clean that out. And uh, man, this throttle, this it feels rough to the touch. I don't know if I guess it's supposed to be rough. I would have think thought that it was smooth. What do you call this, venturi, uh, uh, something? So throttle body, uh, so barrel. I don't know. But if, yeah, it feels rough, like a little bit of like rough sandpaper, but not rough, rough sandpaper. You know what I mean? So we got our plan. So these bolts go. This is what the air breather hooks to. The air breather. There's two air breathers, right? Ah, so these go into there. That's where the air breather is. So okay, we're we got a good plan. We got a good plan. All right. So that gasket's going to come off. See if it wants to come off pretty easy. Yeah. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah, it wants to come off really easy, except for the last part. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get my uh, air compressor cranked up and uh, I'm going to be real careful. Squirt this out a little bit, squirt this one out. And uh, yeah, so, all right, so, yep, pausing you again. Sit tight. It's fun. Okay, we've got everything. Uh, flushed out with uh, some nice depressed air. Now I'm looking at the schematic here. Uh, it wants to put the O-rings first, right on these before the before the bracket. So, you, so you put the gasket and the O-rings, then you put the gasket and you put these two number tens. They're the breather bolts. So gasket, the O-rings, the the main throttle bracket, throttle mount bracket. 
and uh, so that's the order. Seems kind of weird that you would do that, but uh, that's what they—that's what it calls for. All right, so um, let's do that. Let's see. I'll take it with me a little bit. Hold on. So here's the gasket. What bolts are we gonna need? We need, we need the two air breather bolts. Here's the two air breather bolts. Here's the uh, O-rings. Here's the throttle body. Here's the throttle mount bracket. Carburetor, throttle mount bracket. And here's the one and only gasket in the whole kit. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let me pause you. And uh, when I get a little bit more in there, I'll come back. Okay, this makes a little more sense. Because the size of the bracket where these... Uh, Breather, the breather bolts go is bigger. Yeah, see that adds to the. Uh, I don't know if you can see it real well, but that makes more sense now. Okay. Also, you got to be careful with the gasket. There's four holes, but there's only three holes for the bolt for bolts on the actual throttle itself. But there's four holes here, and I noticed that there's a blank hole up here from the old gasket, so that's where I'm going to sit it. I'm going to sit it right like so. See that? I don't know if you can see. See how I'm going to put it right like that? And that should get it done. And I'm going to put this in there. Like so. Alright, I'm going to pause you. I'll be back. Okay. Even though the instructions don't call for it, I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on those breather bolts. Just to, uh, only because when I took the old ones out, or when I took those yeah, the old bolts out. They had a little bit of a Loctite on there. I'm not going to go crazy with it. I'm just going to put a little bit on. All right. So here's what I'm using. Uh, 243. Which, according to the web, was a little bit better than the other code. I don't know what the other one was. 242. I'm not sure why. Anyway, that's what I'm going to use on, on select bolts. So sit tight. Just so you can see how much Loctite I'm using. Just a drop. All right, not a whole lot. A little, a little bit goes a long way, is what I'm told. A little goes a long way. you again we're moving right along um, I am going to tighten those down a little bit let's see wait oh let's see the breather, okay the breathers don't go through here the breathers go through the big thing so I'm going to get that ready and do that next here okay. here's the big plate here's the breathers here's the new breathing tubes breather hose here's the big plate right so the ori orientation is like this just like this that's the orientation. And you want to have, okay, so it's going to come like this. So this is on this side. And this one's on this side. I believe that's what it looks like. All right? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll sit tight, be back. All right, another little thing. These breather bolts have to be torqued down now get this, it's not foot pounds, it's inch pounds. And my torque wrench doesn't read inch pounds. I got this from Harbor Freight. It reads foot pounds. And uh, uh, metric. Doesn't read inch pounds. So I winged it. Because I'm thinking, well, inch pounds, and I kind of felt how easy it was to pull off the old stuff. So what I did was I uh, cinched it and then gave it a little... Oh, just a little more of a oomph after the cinch. So I think I'm going to be good. Install the rear and front breather hoses through the top two holes in the as a line. Okay, my next goal is the uh, the breather hoses, and I heard that was a pain. One guy on on uh, YouTube says, yeah, that was probably the hardest part of the whole job was feeding those breather hoses into that big plate, into into the plate here, All right? Into this big plate, feeding those holes. But so that's my that's my next uh, 
Ob objectives. Sit tight. All right, not so difficult. Here's the breather hole uh, hoses installed in the, uh, in the number seven, the uh, backing plate. So they're good to go. All right, you got to make sure you put them on right because the there's a nut welded on to the back of this plate that you have to be that goes towards the motor. So next is to um, align the backing plate up and put the throttle body on and then put three screws on. So we're we're making progress. We are making progress. All right, sit tight, sit tight. Okay, when you get to this part, when you're putting the throttle body on, there's three bolts. Treat it like a tire or anything. Don't, you know, separate, separate it out. Don't cinch one down, you know, space it out. Cause that's what I'm finding. I had to back two of these off. You want to do it till it uh, sits nice on that uh, plate. So that's where I'm at right now. So just wanted to <clears throat> throw that out there. So we're, we're getting there. All right, we're down to the home stretch. That's all done. I Loctited everything. These two breather bolts, these three bolts that fasten the uh, throttle body onto that main plate with the back, the, um, the uh, yeah, the backing plate. Um, everything's good. I got my breather hoses connected to my breather bolts. So I'm at this point right here. I'm at, I'm getting ready to uh, install the, the, the air filter and I got to use these these things here, there's four of them, and I'm and uh, you got to watch out with these two because there's little. Uh, if you if you see, these are the fatter up here and thinner up here. So the fatter one, the fatter ends go towards the motor. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like this. Okay. Not the thinner side. You want the fatter side going against the backing plate, and the thinner side going up against the plate that holds the. Uh, the air filter in place, the air filter bracket, which is too, yeah, the air, well, the air, the blade air filter cover, that's what it's called, the blade air filter cover right there. All right, sit tight. Now, the, now these bolts, I am not going to lock tight. I'm going to just cinch on there. I'm not going to lock, lock tight those. Hold on. Okay, we're on the home stretch. The uh, socket for the bracket, the, the back, it's, uh, it's a, a number eight. And I'm just using a deep because that's the first one I grabbed. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to stitch it down, you know, like a, like a tire or whatever. So. And I didn't lock tight these. Now these are a little bit, these started rough. So definitely want to go easy. I got to say, every, every bolt, every bolt that I put on here. Okay, that one's going on okay. This one is giving me... A little bit of resistance, so I'm gonna back off. I'm gonna back off. Try it again. Yeah, see, it's giving me resistance, but it's not cross threaded. I don't want that. This one too. Back off this one. Let me know if you have the same experience. You know. Definitely, uh, that one's that one's okay. This one seems to be the best so far. Yeah, this is the best. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, yeah, this one's giving me resistance quite a bit. This one, same thing. And we're not anywhere near tight yet. See, there's, there's a lot to go. But it could be this nut back here too. It could be the nut. Just gonna keep going because I don't know what else to do. Alright, just gonna do a little bit here, a little bit here. Okay, now this one's getting easier. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for them all to get a little easier. Maybe there's a coating on those nuts back there. Alright. Okay, this one's the easiest. And that's getting snug. I'm not gonna, I'm definitely not gonna over tighten this. This one, and this one. Yeah, that's loose still. Now this one, that's loose still too. All right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna back out the two bottom ones and uh, start fresh and see if that helps. Sit tight. Yeah. See, I backed out. I backed it out all the way, and I, I'm getting some 
some little metal shavings, which tells me that um, it tells me that I'm going to be ordering a tap and die set because that's the second time with this bike when I did the bridge kit for the chrome bridge kit that I needed to tap out to clean out some threads. So uh, let's let's back out this other side here. Top two are fine. Well, this one's the best so far. This one's all right, but the bottom two are uh, not so much. like I'm tapping it as I'm going, you know? It's just, you don't want, you don't need that. Come on, Vance and Hine. Let's back it out, see what it looks like. Yeah, see that metal, see? See that? Metal, the metal shavings. It's definitely altering those threads. See what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some oil. I'm going to put. I'm going to put some oil on these threads. Sit tight. All right, I'm back. I've got my old trusty three-in-one can of oil. I've had this can of oil. I don't know. It seems like forever. I'm just going to give it a. I'm just going to give it a coat. Maybe it'll help. Maybe it won't. Not a bad idea anyway, but I think what I might do is uh, write to Vance and Hines and uh, get a little bit more oil. Well, we'll see. We'll see how, um, and I'm doing this without, without the, uh, I dropped my tool for the first time. That's all right. That's what they make for, right? Gotta drop it sometimes. Yeah, the oil seems to help, but I've also. All right. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna back everything except for this one out. And I'm gonna oil them, and I might even change the sequence a little bit to see if that's gonna get the job done. So tight again. All right, I pulled off, but the top one off. That was the mess. That was the best one. So now I'm just. Cinch them on. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait till I don't have any of that. I'm waiting till I don't have any play, and I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it done. Yeah, that one's good. That one's almost good. Getting there. Getting there. I'll tell you what. The guy I watched on YouTube didn't have any of those troubles. If he did, he didn't say anything. But I would recommend checking your bolts. If you got a top, let's see. That's giving me a lot of resistance right here. Look at this. See what I'm having to do? And it's it's still loose. Better. That one's that one's snug. This one I like. This one was the best. This one is tight. This one, almost there. Like another quarter of a turn. That's good. This one, not even a quarter turn. That's it. All right, that's it. That's good. I'm calling it. I'm calling that one. I'm calling that. All right. I'm calling it. I'm calling it done. Calling it done because I got my towel out. You know I'm serious when I got that, right? So lessons learned. 
check your taps, you know, check the threads, clean the threads up. I know it's a lot of extra work and you shouldn't have to do that. But so far I'm, I'm 0 for 2. I had to return my, my spark plug uh, head bolt bridge kit because those, uh, those aluminum bolt covers, they weren't tapped properly. They weren't threaded, the threads weren't clean. We're not clean. Wow, that looks outstanding. Look at that. It's a big difference from the old one, I think. Now these last forever, but I think I am going to write to Vance and Hines and tell them about the issue with the, with the, um, the number seven, with the backing plate. And I'm gonna ask them to send me a new backing plate and a new series of bolts because I have a feeling when I go to wash this um, air filter and put it back on, I, I don't know, I just, I want to see what they're going to say. And I will definitely update you on that. But I, I do want to, because I'm planning on buying a couple other things through Vance and Hines. I'd like to get their short shots, their um, pipes, and the fuel pack. So at some point. Planning on, uh, you know, making some purchases. And if everything is like this, I mean, it worked out, but you saw what happened. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be. And I know I'm just, I'm rubbing the chrome. <laughs> I'm rubbing the chrome. All right. Let's, uh, you want to start her up? Let's start her up. Oh, I got my new, I got my new uh, dog tag uh, key, key holder from, uh, yeah, check this out. When I went to the Harley dealership, got my new, my new dog tag key holder. Not bad, huh? I figure what the heck, what the hey, what the hey, I was there, what the hey.